So this is the IOL head extension for the Raspberry Pi or other single board computers. It comes with two SDCI ports. SDCI is also known under the brand name of IOLink. It also has a 24 volt connector to supply the smart sensors. The IOL head connects to the Raspberry Pi over the 40 pin GPIO connector. Just like this. Then you need to add the Ethernet connection. The Raspberry Pi is supplied through the USB-C. Here is my first smart sensor. It is an IO-Link distance sensor from IFM that can sense distance to metallic objects. I use an M12 connector with open wires to connect to the plug-in connector that comes with the IOL head. This goes to the first port of the IOL head. The second device that I have is a mini HMI that comes with a color display for text and some buttons. I connect this one to the other SDCI port. So let's tidy this up a little bit here. I also need to connect a 24 volt supply for the SDCI devices. So now that the Raspberry Pi is running, we can connect to it and launch our demo. Here we have the program that is written in Python. And what this program does is enabling both ports and then it starts a loop. In the loop, it reads the distance value from the distance sensor and then it writes the distance value and a counter value to the HMI. The data structure for the SDCI devices can be found in the datasheet of the smart devices. The program uses the IOL head library for ease of use to access the SDCI devices. Here I have two terminals open, in which I connect to the Raspberry Pi. In the first terminal, I'm going to start the IOL head server that communicates with my demo over TCP sockets. It starts with the ports disabled. In the second terminal, I'm going to start the demo. It enables the ports and outputs the position on the terminal and writes the position and counter value on the HMI. 8184 is the upper limit in this case. If I bring a metal nut near the sensor, you can see the distance values in the upper line decrease. The lower line is the counter that is incremented. I can also press the buttons and observe change of the button value. The semantics of this value is also described in the device's datasheet. The cycle time for our two devices is 12 milliseconds. Basically, that's how you can integrate smart IO-Link devices in Raspberry Pi applications with only a few lines of Python code. The example code is available in our GitHub repository. You will find the link in the comments. This is how easy you can integrate IO-Link devices into Raspberry Pi applications. The IOL hat is available on our website. Thank you for watching.